you may have learned how to graph uh, the equation of a straight line by plotting points. So let me go over one simple example. Say you may have learned how to graph y is equal to say x plus 2. Okay, x plus 2 is Let's first graph this by plotting points, okay? So you may have learned, say, make three columns of x, y. y is defined as x plus 2, and then you write the coordinates. C for coordinate. So let's start with, say, negative 2, okay? So if you start with negative 2, you can take any value of x. So, well, this is negative 2 plus 2, and that is 0. And so the coordinate is negative 2 comma 0. Okay, so if you take negative 1, it is negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. So the coordinate is negative 1 comma 1. Let me take two more points. If you take 0, it will be 0 plus 1, which is 1. So the coordinate is 0 comma 1. And if you take 1, it is 1 plus 1, which is 2. So the coordinate is 1, comma 2. So let's plot the points first. Negative 2, comma 0. That means you always start at the origin. This negative 2 tells me that it will go 2 to the left and 0 up or down. The second number tells me whether you have to go up or down. Always start at the origin and you're going 2 to the left and not going up or down. So this is negative 2 comma 0. The next point is negative 1. That means you're going 2 to the left and then 1 up. Okay, so this is, if you want to show the notation, this is two, 1 to the left and 1 up. Okay, and this means you're not going to uh, left or right. You're just going uh, negative 1 comma 1. Am I making some mistake here? Okay, negative 1, comma 1. Oh, yes, I've done a mistake here. Okay, it's always good to check. Okay, so this is a mistake. This should have been 2. So this is 2. This is also 2, so this is 3. Okay, so if the points are not on a straight line, there's some mistake. So that's how I could figure out. So when it's 0, it's 2. 2, when it's 1, it is 3. So 0, 2 is this point, and 1, 3 is this point. And if you join these points, it will be a straight line. Okay, so this is an easy way of graphing it. There's nothing wrong in this. But now we want to be smarter. How can we do this? So the equation of this line is y is equal to x plus 2. Okay, so yeah, there are two... The most important point is this point, okay? So this is called this point. In fact, this point. This point is called, or this point is called the y-intercept. So we are using the method called gradient-intercept method. So I'm going to talk about a method called gradient-intercept method. So we can plot the points or graph the line of uh, graph the equation of a straight line using this method called gradient intercept method. So first gradient and then the intercept. So this is called the y intercept. But this is where the graph it's cutting the x axis, sorry, y axis. Okay, and that's why it's called the y intercept. Okay, so let me delete this whole thing. Okay, I don't want any of this, so let me use a big eraser and let me write the equation again. How to graph the same equation without plotting the points. Uh, delete. Okay, so let me write the equation again. Y is equal to, so you can forget the whole thing uh, and say, uh, this is a new method called gradient intercept method. Y is equal to x plus 2. So first, identify the intercept or the y-intercept. In this method, first is to find the or identify the y-intercept. Y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So this is also a good thing to remove. Y-intercept 
is when x is going to be 0. So well, when x is 0, y, when x is 0, you can very clearly see y is equal to 2. So that's one clear point, that's the y-intercept. The next is the gradient. The gradient is also called, in some books, it's also called slope. Or it's in simple language, it is called the steepness. It is, in simple language, it is the sleep, steepness or slope. And that is defined by a formula called rise over run. Rise over run. Okay. Now here, there's a number with uh, sitting with x, which is invisible, which is 1. So this is 1x. And 1 can be written as 1 over 1. 1 over 1 is 1. So this 1, which is invisible, I'm going to write as 1 over 1. So here, this is the gradient. This fraction is the gradient. So here, the gradient is 1 over 1. That means the rise is 1 and the run is 1. So this is your rise. So you're rising 1 up. I'll explain what I mean. You're rising 1 up and going 1 across. This top number tells you the rise. And the bottom number tells you the run. So this is your rise. That means, let me use a different color. So from this point, you're going one up and one across. So this is the next point. Okay, so let me use a, a ladder-like thing. So this is, you're going one up and one across. Okay, then again, you're going one up and one across to get the next point. It's like a ladder, okay? And then you're going one up and one, oops, and one across. Okay, so the points, this is the next point. This is one up, one across. Can you see this is one up, one across. This is the next point. Again, you're going one up, one across. So this is the next point. Okay, if you go backwards, you're going one to the left and one down. Okay, one to the left and one down. Okay, so if you keep, you can keep going like this, one to the left, one down. Or if you go to the right, you're going one up, one across, one up, one up, across, one up, one across. And all these points are on this line. Okay, so this are, uh, let me draw it properly. So this is a line. So all these points are on the, on the straight line and they have this characteristics or this feature that these points, if you draw a, a step-like thing, you can draw, okay, so this is one up, one across, one up, one across. Okay, so this is how you can draw the line without drawing the X and the Y, uh, draw the X coordinate, Y coordinate, and uh, the C. Okay, so this is the equation y is equal to x plus 2. Okay, let me move on to the one more example. What if it is y is equal to half x plus 3? So first thing is to identify the y-intercept. So what is y-intercept? Your y-intercept is when your x is going to be 0. Your y-intercept is when your x is going to be 0. So when x is 0, your y is half times 0. Okay, so 0 times anything is going to be 0. Okay, so you multiply any number to 0 or 0 to any number that's going to be 0. So when x is 0, y is going to be 3. So your y-intercept is 3. Okay, so this is called the y-intercept. Y-intercept. I need one more point. Say you're going 1 up. So this means you're going 1 up and 2 across. You're going to go 1 up and 2 across. 
So this is one up and two across. I will we'll check this. We are going one up. So let me use a red. Uh, let me use a red tool, red pen. So this is one up and two across. To reach to the next point, you are going again one up and two across. This is the next point. Again, you are going one up and two across. So let me show you again. So this is one up. The top number tells you whether you are going up or down. So this is one up and two across. Okay, and this is so easy. This is one up and two across. And then if you join the points, it will be a straight line. And can you see the steepness or the slope has reduced? Okay, so this is the number with X tells you the steepness or the slope of the graph. Okay, so this is this is one up, two across. One up, two across. One up and two across. So the equation of this line, y is equal to x, one half of x plus 3. Okay, so now let me make it a negative number. Okay, so y is equal to what happens? y is equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 1. Okay, so how will you draw this graph? Okay, so the top number, so first we'll ha have to identify the y-intercept. That's your starting point. Your y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0. So to find the y-intercept, you can just ignore this because you're going to multiply 0 with a number. So this is going to be 0. So to find y-intercept, you have to just ignore this. Your y-intercept is 1, just like that, if you want to be smarter. So when x is 0, we know y is going to be 1. So your y-intercept is 1. So this is your starting point. Okay, now this negative 2, okay, let me write this again. y is equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 1. So plus 2 means you're going 2 up from the starting point, and negative 2 means what? You're going to go 2 down. You're going to go 2 down and 3 across from the starting point. So you're going 2 down, so 1, 2, and 3 across. 1, 2, 3. So this is the next point. Okay. I'll show this on the calculator uh, using a graphic calculator to be fast. So then you're going two down, one, two, and three across. And this is enough. Okay. And then you join the points. Okay. And this is the equation. Negative means it's going sloping down. Okay. So I'll let me join this properly. Hmm. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, oh, so this is wrong, that's why also points are not, so let me cancel this, delete, okay, so let me do it again, so your y-intercept is 1, then you're going 1, 2, 1, 2 down and 3 across, 1, 2, 3, okay, so this point, so let me show you, this co the coordinate of this point is 3 comma negative 1. 3 comma negative 1. This coordinate is 0 comma 1. I'll show this on the calculator. And then you're going 2 down, 1, 2, and 3 across, 1, 2, 3. This point is 6 comma, this point is 6 comma negative 3. Okay, so let me use a calc uh, line two, join these points, and it will be a straight line. It should be a straight line. And if you're not getting a straight line, there is some point which is wrong. That's also a way to check whether the equation is right or the graph is right. Okay, now to check this on, check this on a calculator. So uh, let me get my calculator out. If you have a graphic calculator, you can use this 
you go to table and the equation was minus 2x divided by 3 plus 1. So I'll have to write like this. Calculator understands in a particular way. Minus 2x divided by 3 plus 1. Okay, so let me. So this is going up in 3. So I'm going to set from, say, minus, uh, minus 9 to plus 9 at a step of three. Okay, you'll not understand what I'm doing, but just go to table. Okay, so let me go to see, can you see this is zero comma one? The next point would be three comma negative one. And the next point is six comma negative three. So let me go to graph. And scroll down and then draw the graph. So this is so G sol, you can find Y calc when X is zero. When X is zero, then X is zero, Y is one. Okay, again, G sol, Y calc when X is three. When X is three, Y is negative one. Again, G sol, Y calc when X is six. When X is six, Y is negative three. So this is how you can draw uh, equation of straight line using any equation.